Question 1. What do you know about CDISC and its standards? Answer. CDISC stands for Clinical Data Interchange Standards Consortium and it is developed keeping in mind to bring great deal of efficiency in the entire drug development process. CDISC brings efficiency to the entire drug development process by improving the data quality and speed up the whole drug development process and to do that CDISC developed a series of standards which include Operation Data Model ODM, Study Data Tabulation Model STTM and the Analysis Data Model ADM. Question 2. Why people these days are more talking about C-Disc and what advantages it brings to the pharmaceutical industry? Answer. Generally speaking, only about 30% of programming time is used to generate statistical results with SAS and the rest of programming time is used to familiarize data structure, check data accuracy, and tabulate slash list raw data and statistical results into certain formats. This non-statistical programming time will be significantly reduced after implementing the c disk standards. Question 3. What are the challenges as SAS programmer you think you will face when you first implement C disk standards in your company? Answer. With the new requirements of electronic submission, CRT datasets need to conform to a set of standards for facilitating reviewing process. They no longer are created solely for programmers convenient. SDS will be treated as specifications of datasets to be submitted potentially as reference of CRF design. Therefore, statistical programming may need to start from this common ground. All existing programs slash macros may also need to be remapped based on C disk so one can take advantage to validate submission information by using tools which reviewer may use for reviewing and to accelerate reviewing process without providing unnecessary data, tables and listings. With the new requirements from updating electronic submission and C disk implementation, understanding only SAS may not be good enough to fulfill for final deliverable. It is a time to expand and enhance the job skills from various aspects under new change so that SAS programmers can take a competitive advantage and continue to play a main role in both statistical analysis and reporting for drug development. Question 4. What are the capabilities of ProCC Disk 2? Answer. ProCC Disk performs the following checks on domain content of the source. Verifies that all required variables are present in the dataset reports as an error. Any variables in the dataset that are not defined in the domain reports a warning for any expected domain variables that are not in the dataset. Notes any permitted domain variables that are not in the dataset. Verifies that all domain variables are of the expected data type and proper length. Detects any domain variables that are assigned a control terminology specification by the domain and do not have a format assigned to them. The procedure also performs the following checks on domain data content of the source on a per observation basis. Verifies that all required variable fields do not contain missing values. Detects occurrences of expected variable fields that contain missing values. Detects the conformance of all ISO 8601 specification assigned values, including date time, day time, duration, and interval types notes correctness of yes slash no and yes slash no slash null responses Question 5. Explain the process of SDTM mapping. Answer. A list of basic variable mappings is given below for direct ICDM variable is copied directly to a domain variable without any changes other than assigning the C disk standard label. Rename. Only the variable name and label may change but the contents remain the same. Standardize. Mapping reported values to standard units or standard terminology. Reformat. The actual value being represented does not change. Only the format in which is stored changes such as converting a SAS state to an ISO 8601 format character string combining directly combining two or more CDM variables to form a single SDTM variable splitting ICDM variable is divided into two or more SDTM variables derivation creating a domain variable based on a computation algorithm series of logic rules or decoding using one or more CDM variables Question 6. Can you tell me how to do the mapping for existing domains? Answer. First step is the comparison of metadata with the SDTM domain metadata. If the data getting from the data management is in somewhat compliance to SDTM metadata, use automated mapping as the first step. If the data management metadata is not in compliance with SDTM then avoid auto mapping. So do manual mapping the data sets to SDTM data sets and the mapping each variable to appropriate domain. The whole process 
process of mapping include read in the corporate data standards into a database table, assign a C disk domain prefix to each database module, attach a combo box containing the SDTM variable for the selected domain to a new mapping variable field, search each module and within each module select the most appropriate C disk variable, then search for variables mapped to the wrong type character not equal to character, numeric not equal to numeric, review the mapping to see if any conflicts are resolvable by mapping to a more appropriate variable. We need to verify that the mapped variable is appropriate for each role. Then finally we have to ensure all required variables are present in the domain 6. Question 7. What do you know about SDTM implementation guide? Have you used it? If you have can you tell me which version you have used so far? Answer. SDTM implementation guide provides documentation on metadata, data of data, for the domain data sets that includes file name, variable names, type of variables and its labels etc. I have used SDTM implementation guide versions 3.1.1, 3.1.2. Question 8. Can you identify which variables should we have to include in each domain? Answer. SDTM implementation guide v3.1.1. v3.1.2 specifies each variable is being included in one of the three types required. They must be included in the dataset structure and should not have a missing value for any observation. Expected. These variables must be included in the dataset. However, it is permissible to have missing values. Permissible. These variables are not a required part of the domain and they should not be included in the dataset structure if the information they were designed to contain was not collected. Question 9. Can you give some examples for mapping 6? Answer. Here are some examples for SDTM mapping. Character variables defined as numeric. Numeric variables defined as character. Variables collected without an obvious corresponding domain in the C disk SDTM mapping. So must go into subquo. Several corporate modules that map to one corresponding domain in C disk SDTM. Core SDTM is a subset of the existing corporate standards. Vertical versus horizontal structure. For example vitals, dates combining date and times, partial dates, data collapsing issues for example adverse events and concomitant medications, adverse events maximum intensity, metadata needed to laboratory data standardization.